So welcome to the show, Danny Hi, Robertson. Hi. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is Danny, and I like to ride dirt bikes. How old are you, Danny? How long have you been riding dirt bikes? For seven years now. Seven years. Wow. So most of your life? Yeah. Very cool. So you're sort of the uh, brainchild behind the Fueled by Verge initiative. Tell me a little bit about yeah. that. Yeah. So um, me and my dad know this guy named Mark with um, Verge Canada. Yes. And um, he asked us to put Verge decals on my dirt bike. And then uh, me and my dad created, we had an idea, and then we created Fueled by Verge, and we created a Fueled by Verge jersey, and yeah. Very cool. So what first got you interested in the uh, in, in Verge currency? How did you originally link up with Mark there? And uh, yeah, what, what first got, what was your first discovery of Verge currency or Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency? Um, I got interested, um, so my dad met Mark, he was like, they're pretty good friends, and then I met Mark, well, I knew him, so, but he started, like, doing Verge, and then I started getting into it, and, um, I started, like, learning about it, and then we actually have our, me and my sister and my dad, we actually have our own Verge wallets, and we, like, all share the Verge with each other. Very cool, and if, uh, those watching at home, I'll put a link to your Twitter page and somewhere on there, you have your QR codes if people want to give you some XGG, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. And uh, so you've uh, you integrated uh, some Verge marketing in there. I see on your MX4 Life shirt there, you have the Verge logo built into the M. Can you tell me about how you designed that logo and uh, what? The meaning is and all all that yeah so um my sister is like a really good drawer <clears throat> and um she decided like she was like she made like mx for life well she like draw draw it my dad came up with the idea and then she drew with, like with the m here with the verge logo she drew it and then we decided to put it into a shirt Awesome. Good stuff. So you got all that MX for Life merch available on the internet. I know I got my MX for Life decal and I got my MX for Life mask I ordered and nice. I paid with Verge to get that. Uh, so I see behind you a whole... What? Sorry. The Verge mask? Yep, the Verge. Uh, I got the... I think I just got the skull... Yeah. I think I think I got all in the teeth. Nice. And I, like uh, I see behind you all family. Sorry, what? How do you like the merch? Oh, I like the merch. It was very nice, very the mass uh, super great quality. Felt really good. Yeah. Yeah, my girlfriend came and visited, and she liked the mask so much she took it with her. So I don't, I don't have mine with her with me anymore because she kept it. She's like, I'm keeping this. <laughs> she really liked it, so I thought that was a really cool, uh, cool initiative. I still have your decal there, and I was planning on putting it on the back of my laptop, but my screen on my laptop is broken so i'm gonna need a new laptop oh. eventually so i've decided to save the decal until i get my new macbook wow. and then i'm gonna put it on there nice um so you've had a, a very interesting uh journey since starting the fueled by verge initiative uh i've seen some of the races you've been in have been uh yep have been live streamed on the internet, maybe some coverage in the media, and you've done really well in a lot of those. And yeah. uh, 
and that seems to be your passion. So what what has uh, what about motorbike racing uh, is your favorite, and uh, is uh, what what drew you to it, and where do you see your future in motocross uh, racing being? Yeah. Um... My favorite like type of dirt bike riding is outdoors because it's like more like a bigger track, and in indoors it's just kind of tight, and it's hard to pass people, but it's still fun too. And yeah. then it's technical. Yeah, very and skilled. Then, yeah. Yeah, a lot, a lot to it. Um, and so and for my future. Um, I'm looking forward to be like, um, I want to be a pro dirt bike rider. Awesome. Very cool. So what do your friends think about it? Uh, your friends that don't dirt bike, what do, you, what do your friends think about dirt biking? And uh, if you have any friends that don't dirt, dirt bike, unless all your friends are just other people uh, who dirt bike, uh, what do they think about it? Do you get a lot of... Uh, interesting reactions people tell you that you're too young to be doing that or that it's no, dangerous really. and that sort of thing they say, that, they say that oh dirt biking is super easy all you do is sit on the bike the whole time yeah a lot of people think that uh, it's just the uh, but there's a lot of skill to it it is very technical like you're saying yeah um so how do your friends in uh, dirt bike racing react to your, your Verge decals? And do they, are they interested in uh, Verge? Are they interested in cryptocurrency? Are they more familiar with the technology than maybe older people that didn't grow up with technology? Tell yeah, me a little bit are, about that. Yeah, they are like, they're pretty interested in it. They like, um, oh, look, I like your Verge bike and it's nice. Very cool. Um, so, uh, is there anything else that you wanted to uh, bring up in this interview that you want to tell us about you or about Fuel, Fuel by Verge or what you got coming next this year or yeah, next year? Got, this is just like a sample and we're going to have like all of the sizes for this. And yeah. So, I also broke my leg a couple of years ago. I know, yeah. two years ago. And I was just goofing around with my friends and I hit a rock and I just fell and broke my leg somehow. I don't know, I probably twisted it in the wrong way or something. Just snapped. And then- I um, saw the x-rays, it was snapped clear in half there. Yeah. And, and you then made a full recovery? Yep, yeah, we, um, we, we had, I had to sit in and for two months in the whole summer, skip one month of school because I couldn't go. And then I cut my leg was just straight like this for the whole time. And then when I was, then when we, when we got the, um, that, that big, um, internal fixator off, um, I, and then we put a cast on and then when I got the cast off, I, I could barely even bend my leg. So we had to go to physiotherapy and now I could bend it a lot, but not all the way. So you're still still in the process of making a full recovery, but you've come a long way since where you've been, and you've been able to ride a motor bike since then, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good stuff. So that's uh, that's quite the challenge to have uh, overcome at your age. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Yeah. Well, it'll, uh, I'm sure it'll end up making you uh, tougher than your peers and you'll have an advantage in that regard by going through all of that. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so uh, any, anything else? What's next for you? Uh, and also your website. You have a website where people can go buy your merch. Is that right? Yeah, that's at www.mfonline.com. You can go get some nice merch there. And yeah, my next race is probably, good. we might go to Chilliwack because they, because COVID-19 canceled the last round, but they might reschedule it. So we don't know about that, but if they do um, reschedule it, then we're going to go. All right. Sounds good. So yeah, I bet COVID uh, has uh, put a, a damper on the, the motocross season this year. Yeah. Um, but you think uh, next year is going to be 
much better for the sport and uh yeah you should be further along in your physical therapy recovery too so i think uh, next year and the year after will uh will be your years thank you awesome well uh before we go uh can you tell me a little bit about what you know about blockchain technology and cryptocurrency and specifically verge currency and if you think it's uh if you think it's something that your generation is going to be interested in as uh in general compared to older generations that didn't grow up with technology yeah um <clears throat> for um i know like that like verge isn't like that much like it hasn't gone up yet and <laughs> Ordered if you check the chart this morning, it's going up a it's little bit. Up, a little bit, but once it pops, one day it's going to be, I think one day it's going to be just like Bitcoin and everyone's going to be millionaires, billionaires even. And then, I believe the same thing. I think it's a better time and the yeah. merits are there and eventually it'll catch on just like Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum and the other big coins. But I really think that, uh, uh especially people like you learning about the technology at a young age and in in all the games nowadays i've forgot the name of that one game a lot of a lot of uh, the kids are playing there's a uh, v bucks and what is that game called oh fortnite fortnite yeah uh nowadays all the kids are used to uh having coins in in games to make in-game purchases and i think so i think it'll be more natural for kids to understand cryptocurrency and bitcoin and virgin all that sort of thing uh when they get into their later teens and 20s and older in life and are uh, saving money from making an investment fund and that sort of thing i think it'll come naturally because yeah. you're you're the app generation the video game generation fortunately you're out there outside actually doing real stuff uh well a lot of, a lot of kids your age are just uh not doing the real thing and staying home and playing the on a on their phone and uh yeah video I really, game system like when i was um when i broke my leg I started playing Fortnite and I just got addicted and I just personally just I don't think it's a good game for kids or like for anyone it's just not a great game I don't play it anymore yeah well I've I've never played it I was never very big into video games but I think uh the I think the the concepts of the video games and the fact that kids are basically bored with the video game controller and phone in their hands nowadays that it'll make it simpler to understand the technology because when i was your age dandy i remember cell phones were a new things some of the adults that i knew still had pagers and the ones that did have cell phones when i was your age it was like the, the black and white screens with the snake game on the phone and uh so I, I don't even know if you know about those old school flip phones with the oh yeah i know about them yeah the nokia phones with the black and white screens but that's what type of technology when i was growing up so i think your generation is going to catch on to the technology and uh nice. it's just a matter of time uh so anyway, I wish you a speedy continual recovery. It sounds like you've been doing everything you've uh uh you can uh in terms of your recovery and you're already back on the bike and uh and yeah. I hope uh this covid stuff can end sooner than later so you can uh attend all the uh events that you've been planning on. Yeah, well thank you man. It was nice seeing you today. Nice meeting you as well. And uh yep, everyone check out your website and just say your uh, website and uh, social media handles that you want people to look at. So um, my website is www.msforlifeonline.com and um, next my Instagram account is 141MX and my um, Twitter account is also 141MX and yeah.
All right, cool. And one day you're going to be a big motocross star and you already are in the Birdsham community. So, uh, but for those watching this video at home, you heard it first here. And thank you so much for being on the show and have a wonderful rest of your day. It was nice seeing you, Peter. Nice seeing you, Danny. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. You too. Bye.